First in the tank is a cosmetic company for an underserved market. Hey Sharks, I'm John. And I'm Devere. We're from New York and we're seeking $600,000 in exchange for 5% of oh, our company, oh, oh, Strix. God. <laughs> Do you know what everybody in this room has in common right now besides being on television? We're all wearing makeup. The chances are the women are fine applying and wearing makeup, but most men aren't nearly comfortable enough to admit or use it. Sharks, this happened to me on the day of my wedding. The greatest day of my life, and I woke up with a zit. And not just any zit, as you can see, I mean, this thing was the mother of all zits, okay? It was a volcano. <laughs> it was just waiting to erupt. Yuck. And while there were makeup artists there at the wedding, I was too embarrassed to do anything about it. And so my blemishes were there to stay for the thousands of photos that were taken that day. Every guy has an experience like this, whether it's a first date, an important pitch, like here on Shark Tank, or just coffee with a friend. When you look your best, you feel your best, which is why Strix is changing the way that men can instantly fix their appearance with, you guessed it, it's makeup for men. Strix is the first company ever to engineer cosmetic and skincare products with completely custom formulations and packaging geared towards men. We launched with a sleek, discreet, and very sexy concealer tool and a tinted moisturizer, and since then we've launched seven products at the intersection of cosmetics and skincare so that you can instantly fix your appearance, including our energizing eye tool and our beard and brow gel comb. So Sharks, who's ready to join us and show the world there's nothing, nothing wrong with handsome? handsome. <laughs> so we don't have pens in front of you, it's actually our concealer tool, so if you take a look there. So we have it designed as a pen so that it's sleek and discreet. So this is just a out. concealer? Correct. Right. So let yes. me start at the beginning. What does concealer do and what are you supposed to do with it? So the formulation is made so that if you want to cover up a pimple, if you want to cover up dark under eye circles, you just dab it on and you're done. So you don't need a primer, a foundation, a sponge, a brush, a setting powder. It's made to be as easy as possible for guys to cover up any problems. And with the concealer tool, we found out one of the best uses for it that guys were using it for is for dark under eye circles, like under right. eye bags. And so that's what led us to launch the Energizing Eye Tool, which is also in front of you. It tightens the skin underneath the eye, so it's meant to reduce fine lines, wrinkles, and it's, it's really an anti-aging type but of But how are you supposed to even know how to do it? Like, to me, it's like war paint. You know, you just like see a streak. I mean, now what? <laughs> that looks good. Really? So that's a huge that's a huge thing that we need to work on as part of this brand is education around these products. Good job, Mark. I actually use a product like this all the time. Of course you I don't, do. I don't sleep enough, so I get really bad guys. Mm -hmm. There's lots of products, eye creams, everything, that are made for men. Correct. You're saying you're a brand new category. What's the brand new category? Nobody's approached the cosmetic category from this angle. Like for me, when I was younger, I was bullied out of my middle school because I put gel in my hair, and that hit my confidence for years. People bullied you because you put gel in your hair? Yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. this I was also, same thing. I mean. Seriously? I would love to hear though, why this? I mean, were you guys chemists? Were you guys in this industry at so, all? No, so when we first started, I partnered with two professional makeup artists. They helped us really be able to formulate the first ever really cosmetic products for men's skin as opposed right. to women's. So what, what had happened was is I raised half a million dollars to start. Uh, that what? Was before I what? raised wow. half a million dollars to launch the company. Who did you raise it from? Friends, family, and then connections. You I got some really good friends. How much of the company did you give away for the 500,000? So at the time, uh, we raised at about, uh, you know, a 1.5 million valuation. How long ago was that? That was back in 2018. Okay, and now you're at a 12 million valuation because you have amazing sales. What yes. are they? So this year, we're at about $130,000 in sales. That's per month. It? That's it. Per month. Per month. Per month. Per yeah. month. I knew it. What's <laughs> lifetime sales? About two million. Two million. Okay. Yeah. How are you selling 130,000 a month? Well, a big one is is D2C ecom retail, our own site. So we're about 95% D2C. And then last year, we launched in CVS uh, nationwide. We're the first men's cosmetic brand. I'm amazed you got to CVS, yeah, we, good for, for you. For us, like retail is really a, a validation point. In CVS, we actually sit in the shave aisle. We're not in a cosmetic aisle, we're not in the women's aisle. So oh. we wanted to show these products Clever. Yeah. Yeah, can be normalized. What do you sell them for? What's your average selling price? It's around $30. 85% gross margins. So why the, why the value? I mean, because you do understand that there's probably a family that risked it all 
and they just needed a shot, and you know you took that space from yeah, them. Yeah, Damon, that's not fair to do that, right? Every entrepreneur wants a shot, right? So At let $12 me ask million the question, dollar valuation yeah, mark? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Look, if it's going to be worth $200 million in three days, then it's cheap, right? But let me ask the different It, it may question. be worth crap in two days. Yeah, well, so is every company facing that. So let me oh, ask the question. Oh, you're going to give them a $12 million dollar valuation mark? So you raise that much money at, and give away basically a 30 year company at that point. Sorry, right? I didn't hear that, Mark. Are you saying when you raised the half a million, you gave up one third? It was a little bit less than that. We, we have raised more since then, actually. Okay, oh, you, well. that's what I was getting but, to, right? Yeah. So how much do you guys own right now? We, between the two of us, we own a little bit more than a third of the company. Okay, so that's why you need such a high valuation, Got because it. if you're asking for that much money, well, it, that's the only way you're going to retain any equity. Well, the, and oh the, so the total God. raise from beginning was how much? Historical, right around one and a half million total raised. Okay, wow. if you do this run rate right now at 130 a month, that's about 1.5 million in sales for this calendar year. How much well, are you gonna make well, off that? We are not net profitable. Everything we're making is going right back into marketing. Growth. Are you losing money? Yeah. yeah. How much? Uh, depending on the month, somewhere between 40 and 50K. Let okay, so let's ask why. Let's the Mark, this story is getting better and better. So let's find out why, right? Because the margins are huge. Yes. 85%. So if you're burning that much cash, yeah. you are spending it somewhere. Yeah. Advertising or? Yep. It's marketing primarily, but we're expecting to see five to six X return on the acquisition cost now. For so sure. Why did you guys decide to go to retail? Because that takes a lot more capital it's in true. order to drive sell through, whereas direct to consumer, you can get a return on ad spend Correct. and see it directly. So no, why did I you like the choice? retail strategy, Mark, because I wouldn't know about the product, but if I go to a CVS in the shaving aisle, I'm going to see the product. It's, yeah, but it's that's also so very expensive. validating. Our number one competitor is the stigma here. So for guys to see these products right next to other brands that they know and love and have used. Yeah, but I'm not saying that's wrong. Right, but one of the biggest things I try to teach my entrepreneurs is conserve your cash. Yeah. Because stuff happens. Yep. And so you're gonna have to raise more than this $600,000 too. So now you guys are gonna have to give away 10, 15, 20% of your 33%, and then you guys are gonna end up with nothing. For me, there's a huge elephant in the room. And that is that this packaging tells me nothing about your product whatsoever. And Strix, the name, I have no idea it's makeup for men at all. So you could probably be selling so much better if those things were clear on here. And for those reasons, I'm out. Thank, Thank you. you. The valuation is a little high. I really rather work with people who need it a little bit more, not second raise in and all that kind of money. Uh, this is just not a business for me. I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. I love the category. I mean, I think it's been due for a long, long time, um, but I don't like your approach. You try to hide the fact that it's, it's makeup a little bit. I think you gotta own it more because that's the only way you're gonna change hearts and minds. If you can convince bro culture to do it, you change everything. I would take a completely different approach. You know, you guys have made your choices, so for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you. Thanks. I'm not gonna tell you how to run your business. I expect you to do that on your own. I'm just an investor. When I see a good idea, I like it. I don't like your valuation. I don't think you're worth 12 million bucks, okay? Sorry, I just don't. Well, I think there's a royalty coming. Yeah, I think so, uh, there too. There may be. Sounds In fact, like it's, it. it's because I understand your issue around your capital needs. If you're getting into retail with CVS and others, you're going to get POs, and it's tying up your capital. The more you grow, the more capital's tied up. So the way I'm going to structure my offer is I'm going to give you 300000 as a factoring loan, 36 months, 11.5%, okay? Go. Oh. The other 300,000 is equity for 2.5% and I'm putting a royalty on it on per package of two bucks until I get my 600,000 back because you can afford it and then it drops down to 25 cents in perpetuity, which is nothing, but I'm part of the game. Kevin, I think you actually hit a new low with this offer. Well, if not only better, are you, Robert, not only are you being a loan shark, you're also adding a royalty to it. Yeah, I think this is the first time. If you have a better, and equity, listen, it's an offer. I don't hear any others. What's your offer? Yeah, I I think Kevin's double dipping on his offer with you guys. Sounds like triple or, or quadruple. <laughs> You've heard a lot of negatives about what you could do better, but the one thing we can't argue with is the sales. Yeah. Whatever you're doing, it's working. My advice would be, this isn't the direction. The guy on this picture is already buying makeup. You gotta get somebody like me, and I think you could do really, really well. In is there an offer in all this business. verbiage? I mean, we'll take compliments as well. We take feedback <laughs> and compliments. I think the scariest thing about his offer is, when you have a royalty in perpetuity, 
who's going to buy that company? Right. You got to do an equity deal. I'll give you the 600,000 for 10%. Ouch. I think getting a shark can really help you with the platform. What I an interesting dilemma you have. Robert, w would we be able to meet in the middle at seven and a half? I want to stick to the 10%. I'm in this. I don't want to go in for a short time. I don't need a royalty. I'm in it for the long run. We're going to build something and let's go for it. Mr. Wonderful, we really want to be on the wedding platform of love because the wedding story, this is great for grooms and groomsmen, but Robert, you got a deal. There you go. Right. Good. Good. good job, guys. I would never make fun of you for wearing gel. What's going on with that? Time I wear some of gel. Nice. Oh, that was yeah. a great job, guys. Thank really, you. really good so job. Good job, guys. Congrats. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You know, we really like had reasons we wanted each of the sharks. Uh, Robert's the most handsome, though, and he's going to help us show everybody there's nothing wrong with handsome. Men on makeup, it's like years ago when Botox was a taboo. Now you mention it in no way listen eyebrow. <laughs> One of the worst jokes.